why the reason behind uh, the story why I want to talk about this topic about going to college or what I wish I did in college more is because during the weekends this holy week um we can may sa province ko sa my high in my hometown and napag-usapan ng family namin nung mga tita ko nung mother ko uh mga ninang ko uh yung mapinsan ko kasi I have two younger cousins who's going to college and feeling ko nag-over things sila nag-over stress sila on on yung decision on where to go to college on what degree you have to take in college na yung feeling nila na if you don't get the right degree you don't get to the right school you'll be a failure in life and para sa akin uh, hindi hindi yun yung uh, opinion ko about college i think college is about knowing yourself more and being more comfortable in having your own decisions in your life so ayun that's where i want to like put my opinion about going to college just to talk about more about this content let me just share to you yung uh, things that i wish i did more in college i don't totally regret anything that i did in college just want to share yung things na i think would be more meaningful pagka gawin mo once you're done in college so before i talk about that let me just get my coffee Hi, I have my coffee now. I'll just put it in the table na hindi niya kita sa frame na ito. Let me just emphasize this, that college is important but not to the point na you'll be a failure once you chose a wrong degree, a wrong school. Alam mo yun, it's not the end game. It will play an important role in your life but hindi siya yung, hindi siya definite or defined na if you make this thing wrong, you're out. Alam mo yun? na hindi ka na magiging successful. So, that's just where I want to, like, put my opinion in. And with that being said, let's begin with the things na I think would be worth it na gawin mo while you're in college. Alright, let's begin. Let me just sip this. Alright, first on my list is discover more about yourself. Treat college as a journey of self-discovery. Learn a lot of things about yourself. What you like, what you don't like, not just about yourself, but with other people's. Uh, learn new stops, learn new hobby, uh, find where you're passionate about. Go to as many events as you can. Cause when you're college, uh, when you're still a student, and dami daming free events for you na you might find interesting, na you might listen to speakers na they have good stories na you'll be inspired uh, or could motivate you to find whatever you want in your life. So yun, make the most out of what you have when you're college, when you're just a student. This is something na hindi ko nagawa nung college. This is to join an org. I I highly suggest to join an org kasi the main thing na matututunan mo doon is to be responsible, to take responsibility for other people. Na kasi pag nasa org ka naman, you're, you're not Uh, you're just responsible for yourself but you're responsible for other people lalo na kasi sa org you'll be placed uh, in a committee so yun the, the thing na nakikita ko doon na malaking factor uh, once you become an adult once you have your own life is you know how to take responsibility pati sa work I think it, w- it would be like a good thing for your work pero hindi, hindi I think hindi siya ganun ka kaimportante in your resume But, but, there's a lot of intangibles in life and I think isa yun sa pinakamaganda mo makukuha out of an org. And another is network. Network, 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 network. Know as much people as you can during college. Pero hindi lang dapat ganun. Like, give as much value as you can to other people. And later in life, you'll see na yung mga nagawa mo for other people. You can, you can like, make something out of it. Uh, but but so yun so just magtanim ka lang na magtanim na magtanim na magtanim ng magandang uh, bagay sa ibang tao and and you'll see later in your life it will all be worth it so yun that's that's the thing na I I could suggest na magagawa mo once you're in an organization this is something in this list na I think uh, I should have give a shot back in college Uh, this is to be an exchange student. So not every school has that opportunity, but in our school sa Mapua, may opportunity naman for us to be an exchange student. Pero hindi siya ganun ka broadcast, hindi siya ganun ka marketed. So I think even dun palang sa part na paghanap ng opportunity na yon, it teaches you how to seek for opportunities. 
So, uh, it is a great skill. It's a good skill na madedevelop mo. And again, isa pang magandang mangyayari sa'yo once you become an exchange student is yung independence, yung true independence sa ibang bansa na may experience mo. I think it will teach you a lot of things about yourself. Lalo if it is a non-English speaking country, you'll be challenged na not to like communicate just verbally kasi syempre hindi, hindi naman nila maintindihan yung sinasabi mo eh. So you learn how to communicate through your hand gestures, through your uh, face, yung, yung ganun. So yung mga little things na yun, I think it will add up a lot of things in your life and madami kang makukuha doon. So yun, uh, yeah, I guess isa yun sa magandang opportunities that you could take in college. Another thing na may recommend ko na uh, you have to focus in in learning in college is to manage your money. I know minsan uh, you have just enough or minsan kulang pa nga. But but if you can figure out how to like budget your money well in college na yung baon mo eh magkakaroon pa na sobra that you could like save it in a bank, it will go a big way once you're adult na, you have your own work. Kasi right now, dami dami kong kilalang friends ko na they just couldn't like manage their money. Like sometimes kakautang pa sila. Yeah, I think uh, it is a very very important skill na before you you finish college, na at least you have the foundation if you haven't mastered it yet. Yun, yun lang. Then that's another important thing na think ko would really uh, go a big way once you learn in college. If there's one thing na I would like to end this video is with this topic, fail as early as now and learn how to handle your failures. Back in college, I failed a lot of my subjects. Hindi dahil gusto ko lang mag-fail. It is because I wasn't ready to take that exam, to take that challenge. And the thing na nalaman ko or I learned from that experience is that uh, once you fail, you could always try again and learn from the mistakes na ginawa mo why you failed and correct it like work harder learn more and once you're ready you're prepared you'll overcome yung exam na yun yung challenge na yun and hindi porket nagfail ka it is the end of the world for you so get your heart broken fail if you need to but always always have hope na if you work hard enough if you try again you might able to finish what you have started sabi nga nila you learn more from your failures more than your successes and once you fail and na overcome mo yung failure mo you learn how to be more persevere how to be more persistent agree to your life and how to be more patient kasi hindi naman lahat makukuha mo in one go and it is a good recipe for you to learn how to be successful. So ayun, let me just leave this uh, video here. Be sincere, but don't be so serious. Just enjoy every moment of your college life. Alright, bye!